ride against us. Yeah, no, that's, that's cool. So other than Porter, Jack, Plant, what else you, who oh, else? Man. I got a few, uh, Rolando Romero, they call him Roly. Roly Romero. The, 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 oh, the, WB, the WBA interim champion at 135. He's, he's my guy too. Uh, as you guys know, the work with Lourdes Ortiz as well. Uh, KSI for his, his Hey, how was, how was that? Like, the, oh, how, what do you, what, what do you think? What do you what do you think of this whole like YouTube fighter sensation going on in boxing right now? Yeah, because for, for me it, it took off way further than I thought. Uh, I, 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 I questioned off. it at first, you know, but yeah. once you start to see the type of uh, fans or visibility you can bring as far as attention to the sport, it's, it's great. You can also you can always bring in new fans. You can always create new fans. So if sure. you get people who don't know boxing, but then they're forced to look at boxing to see their favorite YouTube guy, then that gives you an opportunity to acquire you a new fan as well. And if there's more visibility, there's more popularity, then that makes more money, and then it makes it more fun. Like, we were with, what, Jesse last week? Mm -hmm. Like, Coach Brandon Krause said, he's like, look, he's uh, bringing people in the gym, it's getting young people excited about boxing. Right. It's good for my sport, you said. It's, it's good for the sport. I, I think that it can be. Uh, I do feel like there are some times where we can uh, exploit the sport, which shouldn't happen. But uh, as long as you're bringing a positive energy into it, mm -hmm. I think it's a great situation. Like, like the Logan brothers, honestly, I was, I was, I, I kind of was hesitant to accept it in a way. But um, they, they started at the gym that I used to train at so and they personally have seen him train and they are they are actually dedicated well because it's Jake has been I've seen Jake in Vegas many times training with BJ Flores and they train train they train for real train for real and it's right? been years it's not yeah. like he just do it for the weekend no right. he does his thing so yeah anybody that's committing themselves the way I've seen Jake Paul commit himself over the past couple of years you have to applaud you might not always like his antics but you have to applaud the I fact think that's that part of it they're so used they're, they're born in YouTube so yeah, they, they have to. They got to have it, right? Yeah. You know, the only thing I say, and, and I know I'm about to get out of here, fellas, and my wife is texting me nonstop. No, yeah. But the only thing <clears> I can say when it comes to YouTube craze is this. You know, we appreciate the actual extra eyes. It's always a great blessing. But you have to understand that the, the social media life is somewhat of a facade in a degree where – when you're behind your computer and you're on your phone, you can say and do almost anything, and there's no true repercussions. Right. When you're dealing with guys who box, most boxers, in case you guys didn't know, they didn't come from middle-class homes. Right. No. They came from low-income, mm -hmm. dysfunctional situations, a lot of them. And so they come with a certain mentality to begin with. So when you say what you say or do what you do on social media to attack someone in the sport of boxing, it might not always end up being just a social media beef. Right. right. It may end up being real life yep. because a lot of these guys fought their life to get to this point, right. and they take it very serious. Mm. And so you have to be careful on what you say I, and what you do because it could get you in trouble. Right? Yeah, I believe that 100%. So are you taking on any new boxers? Are you, are you taking up anybody new? All right, you... well, let me let me go through the guys that I do have, and I did sign a new one, so I'm, I do have an exclusive for you exclusive. guys. Exclusive, another, so, yeah, so, another one. So I'm going to start out. I do train with Sean Porter, Badu Jack, Caleb Plant, uh, Rolando Romero, uh, Louis R.T., Shane Mosley Jr., um, Jeremiah Milton. Um, I've worked a few times with Julius Williams. J Rock, J Rock, right? wow, and yeah, he and I worked, tried to work two camps, two times in a row. We had problems, one, and you know, but he's still on the board. And I got another one who is a uh, first time ever announced it, ever announced it. Uh, you heard it first here. Yeah, he, he called his 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 team called me, and uh, we've gone through a couple of steps to get to where we are right now. But it's it, I will be working with the 2012 and 2016. Go medalist Ooh. for boxing and Robesi Ramirez. He is known for beating Shakur Stevenson at the 2016 Olympic Games. Wow. wow. So wow. that's the first time y'all heard it here first. 
I, I haven't released it even on my social media. So. What's his name? Robesi Ramirez. Robesi Ramirez. If you go look him up, he was a 2012 and 2016 gold medalist. So, and he beat Shakur Stevenson. And he beat Shakur Stevenson. So be looking forward to seeing me uh, doing some things with him here shortly. 